everyone welcome back to another video on my channel my name is Christy and if you're just joining me or you're a new subscriber welcome I make videos that are pregnancy updates recipe videos and vlogs about twice a week sometimes three times um, so today I thought that I would just share a pregnancy update with you all I am officially 31 weeks now in my third trimester which is the start of the eight, eighth month of pregnancy I am having more symptoms or different symptoms from the last update so I thought that I would go ahead and share them with you all. So in my last video I was talking about how I was experiencing a lot of back pain and I um, think that going on walks has been helping a lot. I've been going, now that the weather's so nice, we've been going on about a 30 minute walk every afternoon, uh, usually like right before dinner time or uh, shortly after dinner. We'll go for a little walk and that I think has been helping me a lot. It definitely helps tire me out too, so that's good. Um, Really, I was just waiting for the weather to get nice because we were experiencing a lot of snow still in early spring. And so now that it's nice outside, I've been going for a lot of walks and it's really been helping me a lot. And it's just helping to get out and about and feel the fresh air. It's just like it's such a mood booster. You feel like a totally different person. I'm, I'm sure I don't need to tell you all that because you already know. So about two weeks ago, I went ahead and... <laughs> realized I needed new clothes none of my shirts were fitting me anymore they were officially showing the like bottom part of my belly um, like without even stretching I it would just my belly would be hanging out it was not a good look so um, we actually ordered some of some shirts off of walmart.com and I'll put the link below for you all in the description box so I ordered a pack that was um, this is the gray one and then it came with a white and then I ordered another pack that was pink and black and so far I really like them all they're super super comfortable I'll show you what it looks like they have like ruching on the side here and they're very long so you're basically covered completely it, and they're just so stretchy and comfortable and I can tell I still have plenty of room to grow in them and they are really well made for only being like six dollars each they came out as so I was noticing at Target they had shirts that were similar to this almost exactly the same really except like the neckline was a little bit different but they were still v-necks and they were twelve dollars each and why I mean I just thought why would I want to get a shirt one shirt for twelve dollars when I could get two from Walmart and yeah these are super well made and I highly recommend them so got a pair of maternity shorts which I'm currently wearing um, I will also link those below for you those were from Target in the Isabella maternity um, section and they're super super comfy I like them a lot they're perfect length and I really um I didn't want anything with a really long band that like goes all the way over your belly because I realized in the summertime that would be really really hot to wear and so I just wanted something that was just like a normal kind of jeans that just has the elastic on the sides which is the same thing that I have in my maternity jeans so this style works out really well for me and I like them a lot and I've been feeling really good about having new clothes because it was incredibly necessary so I have been experiencing first of all a lot of heartburn and acid reflux um, I think it's because I well I mean it's obviously because I don't have much room left in my stomach and it's so smushed <laughs> so anytime I eat something it I basically get heart from heartburn from it almost right away uh, so I've been, I think that what has been helping me a little bit anyways, I still am experiencing it, but maybe not as bad, but so I started just eating really small portions really often. I mean, the downside is that I'm basically always hungry, but I mean, the positive is that I'm, I don't feel like I'm throwing up fire. <laughs> so, I mean, mm, yeah. 
So right at the 29 week mark, I had to go in to the doctor, to the hospital actually, and get a shot for um, Rogam, which is because I have an A negative blood type. I don't really know the specifics. Um, essentially, if the baby were to come out with having a positive blood type, then my body could start to reject the baby and it could lead to early labor. I don't really know anything further than that, but so I had to get a Rogam shot. They told me that after delivery, I might have to again, but it just depends. Like they would check my blood and see. So I had to get that shot and it was super, super painful. <laughs> um, they did it right in my bum. And let me tell you, I, I really couldn't, like, I mean, it was uncomfortable because I really felt like I couldn't sit on my bottom, which is how you sit. So I was super uncomfortable for about two days. And it also made me feel kind of um, nauseous, which I guess is a possible side effect. I didn't really even think there would be any side effects because I just... I'm not really usually one to get side effects from shots in the first place, so I wasn't expecting to have any side effects other than it just hurting. Um, yeah, but I definitely did feel nauseous. Uh, I did not feel very good. I just kind of slept a lot, and it is what it is. I feel fine now, but I'm um, really not looking forward to if I have to get that done again. I really don't want to have to do that again. <laughs> so I have noticed that I recently within like the last week or so have been feeling an incredible need to get everything done i mean everything like i know that i realize i still have nine weeks left give or take but i feel like i need to have everything done i'm having incredible anxiety about it honestly like it's keeping me up at night sometimes not having everything done and um we have to get the baby's nursery completely emptied out of all of the furniture because it used to be my office slash um, guest bedroom and we're turning it into the nursery. So right now we have a crib, we have a like a cubby system where we're just going to store toys for him. So it's kind of going to be like a toy box. Um, and then we have his closet set up. But other than that, we literally don't have a dresser, we don't have a changing station, like we, that's literally all we have because we still have to get all of the furniture out of it. So we are going um, to have Salvation Army is coming actually May 9th to pick up our furniture that we are getting rid of. And that is going to feel so relieving to have that out of there and finally be able to make those last purchases of like the dresser and a chair and get that set up. I think that I'll finally be able to breathe again once all of that is finished and I am so looking forward to that. So this last, I'd say, maybe the last week, week and a half, I've been really feeling him have hiccups like every single night. He it's the cutest thing i don't even know like it's just um you can tell they're very subtle it definitely doesn't feel like him moving it's a, definitely a different feeling so i just like just knowing that he has hiccups is just so cute to me like i can't wait i don't know but also at the same time it feels kind of like i feel kind of bad for him because i know how annoyed i get when i have hiccups and i can't do anything to get rid of his hiccups for him so i'm just like oh poor guy he just has to work it out but I know it's him practicing breathing so it's all good I have been having really crazy dreams I don't even know where to start with my dreams I've been having the kind of dreams where none of them make sense they are literally just a bunch of randomness th just thrown together and I wake up and they do they feel so real is this is the crazy thing like um you know I'll have a dream and I'll I'll be completely sure it's reality and then none of it makes any sense though and I'm just like why am I doing these why am I doing these such strange things and um then I'll wake up and I'm like there's no way to figure out what that dream could have possibly meant like you can't you can't look up symbols for this dream like there it just made no sense a lot of them though I do have some reoccurring themes that happen um a lot of them are involving the ocean which I think could just be 
my brain telling me it's time to go back to the ocean because for the last two years um, my husband and I have been on cruises and this will be our first summer not going on one because we're having a baby instead <laughs> um, so we definitely have been feeling like we want to get back out to the ocean and I think that that might be part of the reason that I am having these dreams so uh I don't know. I guess that's fine, though, having dreams about the ocean. I mean, there are worse things that could happen. Okay, so I think that's going to be all for this video. I just wanted to thank you all for watching, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't before. Um, if you're new, go ahead and leave me a comment. I'd love to meet you. And yeah, I just hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!